Hello, lovely people. My name is Solomon, and welcome to another Python series. In our last two videos, we learned about how to install Python on your Windows 10 machine. And then the second video, we learned how to configure your Python environment on Visual Studio Code. Today, we are starting a project that will help us understand Python into details. We'll be doing an expense tracker, a small app that will help us track our expenditure, within which we'll learn all the various components in Django and we'll also learn about the create operation, the create, the read, the update, and delete operations in Django. Let's get into the video. To do this, we'll be using a framework in Python called Django. Django. Now, there are some other frameworks like uh, Flask. But in this particular project, we'll be using Django. I'll tell you briefly what Django is about. Django is a high level Python web frame that encourages rapid development and clean, pragmatic design. It is built by experienced developers. It takes care of much of the hustle of web development, so you can focus on writing your app without needing to reinvent the wheel. It is free and it's open source. Some of the features that you can talk about is, is ridiculously fast because Django was designed to help developers like applications to help developers take applications from concept to completion as quickly as possible. And it is reassuringly secure. Django takes security seriously and helps developers avoid many common security mistakes. One more. Exceedingly scalable, which means, I mean, for huge projects you can use it. Some of the busiest sites on the web leverage Django's ability to quickly and flexibly scale. So these are a few things about Django. I'll put a link in the description that you can click on to read more about Django for yourself. But for now, we'll start our project and when we finish this project, we'll learn about how to do uh, reports, how to generate reports using the Django application. I'll also show you tips and tricks that I learned on my journey of learning how to use Django. So now, let's get into the video. Let's get into the real work. Okay, so I'm going to open my um, my VS code my VS code okay so I'll enlarge it previously we've already installed all the plugins that we need for processing Python code so the first thing I suggest we do is to create a folder is to create a folder where we'll be storing a project, create a folder where we'll be storing our project. So we'll do that, um, this, are, this is the project explorer, and there are various options here, this is you are creating a new file, you are doubling, you are saving and all that. So to do that, we can just open folder, click on open folder, and then this project for simplicity sake i'll be storing it on my desktop so i go to my desktop and then i'll click on new folder in fact you can keep your project anywhere you want anywhere that you are comfortable with anywhere you can quickly access it for me because for i want to be able to access it quickly and easy i'm going to put it on my desktop so click folder then i'll type client oh sorry expense expense dash tracker expense that tracker then i'll just click on the folder right there for it to create 
and then I'll select the folder I've created. So there you are. Select it. Now, <coughs> sorry. Now that I have created my folder, I need to open the PowerShell or Windows command, which over here I, you can do using Control and that sign right there. I don't know the name. So it, so it has opened for me and then migrated to my folder expense tracker. So everything I'm going to do is going to be in the expense tracker. Now, the first thing we need to do is to install Django. So to install Django, we use pip install, sorry, pip install Django. So when you do that, it will give you the latest Django installation or Django version. Yeah, Django version. So let's see. Now, mine is saying requirement satisfied because I've already installed it for previous projects. So on your own, it's going to go through the process of installing Django and it will take a little bit of time to do that. Now, after you've installed Django, the next thing you have to do is to create a Django project. Create my Django project. So, this is a command you use Django dash admin create project. Okay. And then space you give it a project name so i'll name my project client why am i using client expense expense dash tracker okay then you press the enter key okay it's telling me i cannot use that so i'll join it together and just call it expense tracker boom what is that? No project name. Create. Ah, oh, apparently I'm using a wrong code. So, this start. Okay, start. Start project. Project. Okay. Yeah, that is it. Start project. So. As you can see, the project is created right here. Expense tracker. You open it. We have um, we have uh, we have an expense tracker. Then we have an expense tracker. And these are the files. This is the manic.py file. We have the settings file, which we'll be using to configure our project. We're going through it to see what we have. We have URL. And then we have. WSDI.py file. So we'll go through it and see. Now, after you've created your. After that is done, we need to CD into our our project folder, which is CD space expense tracker expense tracker. So now we are in the folder. So now, after you've uh, CD into the project folder. We can test to see if our Django is properly set up. So let's type to test that. You type Python. Type Python. Python. Manage the Y. And you run the server. Run the server. So. Run the server. Wow. 
with this it means your server has been run successfully and it's also telling us you have 17 and apply blah 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 some of the files that comes with Django which we will learn in our next video how to migrate those files or how to create those files we will do it in our next video but for now it's telling us that our python project has run or the, the server has been started at this location so we can just try it and see whether it works so we are in firefox so we type 127 8000 and then we we'll press the enter key to see wow our django is successfully been installed uh, the installed works works successfully congratulations so it means our django platform is ready for application creation <laughs> so this brings us to the end of this video okay one last thing one last thing I, I, I will teach you before quickly before we go one last command so to stop the server I'll press Control C the server is stopped now we need to continue <coughs> we need to create an app we need to create an app and that app will represent our our app that our program that we are going to write and this expense tracker will be in two parts one part will be expense category so that we'll be able to categorize our expenses then the second one will be expenditure entry that is where we'll enter the actual expenditure so those two models that's what we are going to do so i'll create them quickly before we end the video so those two models will be created quickly before we end the video so to create an app which i'm creating two apps creating two apps one the first one is expense category the second one will be expenditure entry so i'll create them quickly with this new command and then in our next video we'll see how we can configure it to work within the project or within the expense tracker project so to do that we use django start app and then you put the app name so the first one i'm going to use expense okay let me just say category let's say expense mistake again so expense category so let me use underscore expense part good created if you see the left side is been created been created and the next one will be expenditure expense entry expense entry boom also created so those are our two models that we'll be building on in our next video and in the next video i also explain the details thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up and then leave a comment anything you don't understand you can leave a comment and i'll do it to explain it in the next video thanks for watching and see you in the next one